Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Golden State Warriors here in Chase Center. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, Craig Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And reporting from the sidelines all game long, we've got David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Last season, Stephen Curry set the all-time record for three-pointers made. He said, hopefully I can push it to a number that nobody else can reach. I never wanted to call myself the greatest shooter until I got that record. I'm comfortable saying that now. Kevin, he's not the only one. Yeah, pretty unanimous, David. You're right. Thank you. And opening day is here. So what are these players right now, Greg, feeling as they tip off this brand new season? Mostly excitement. I mean, this is their first chance to showcase all the hard work they put in during the offseason. So the next starting five, Sanders is out there with Bridges. Then there's Seth Curry. And it's Claxton in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Warriors. The core of this team all out there, Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. Now here's Curry. The pass to Claxton. Addition out to Bridges. Inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. GA with their fourth title. The combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green. The single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And some would argue the best trio of all time. The most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. He's off on the first. And he sinks the second. Well, I play for the New Jersey Nets, and look, they made that move across the Hudson back in 2012, relocating to Brooklyn, which I think was the right move. Now, here's Curry. Green dishes to Wiggins. Back to Green. Pass to Looney. Shot clock at six. A three-pointer. Wiggins. And Green gets it to go. This is the energy that Green provides. Just flat out refuses to give up on any play. Pass to Bridges. Wiggins with the rebound. And well over a decade in Brooklyn for the Nets. Richard, what kind of impact has that move had on the franchise? Well, look, it's been great. The arena is fantastic. The fan base is growing. And more importantly, their ability to attract top-tier free agents like KD and Kyrie. They do not join the Nets if they're still in Jersey. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Now here's Curry to the left wing. Looney passes to Thompson. Back to Looney. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul.
Von Looney may be a veteran player, but he continues to overachieve. Just last year, he set a new career high for reboundings in a single game. As a player, it's your job to keep improving yourself, and Looney has never lost sight of that. And that one falls for Looney. And the Nets, Richard, are trying to build a legacy where they're recognized as one of the league's true glamour franchises. And they've got the star power and they've got the market. you got an ownership that is willing to pay for it. They will do everything, but ultimately it's going to be the players and how they perform on the court that will dictate how this success is viewed. The infrastructure is there. Now can they get the players to fill the role? For so long, the Golden State Warriors were waiting to be back at full strength. But when one guy comes back, it seems like another goes down. The injury bug has been a real challenge for them. Warriors have gone two or three here to start off the game. Curry against Dinwiddie. Thompson outside. From outside the arc, they get a bet. Looney, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. How about the level of activity this dude just brings to the glass? Just refusing to give up on plays. And his teammates, trust me, they appreciate the effort. Now here's Sanders. Pass to Bridges. Outside Curry. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Bridges outside. And Stephen Curry with the foul. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Dinwiddie outside. Five to shoot. The Nets need to get a shot off here. A shot's good from Claxton. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. It makes a difference for them if he can establish his three-point shot as a weapon. Now here's Wiggins. The feed now to Green. Lays it up off the glass. Look at how effectively Green uses his body. Disrupting the defense with the screen and making some room for himself. There's the pass to Curry. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Let's it fly from 18. Sanders, Sanders shot is good. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. See, this is what analytics don't take into account. Some guys thrive in the mid-range. really depends on the shooter. It's actually kind of lazy. Curry deciding where to go with it. Bridges outside. Out to the right wing. For the three. And it's Looney with the rebound. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. They trail by one. And the rejection by Sanders. And they get it back. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Back to Looney. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. For Brooklyn, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second, Mikael Bridges has found a groove the last couple of years. Five years removed from college, and he's become a full-time starter. And about Mikael Bridges, just how good can he be? He's got the power to beat you off the dribble inside. Certainly likes to attack the paint, but he can also spot up and beat you from beyond the arc. First one falls for him. And a talented swing, man. Bridges is someone to keep an eye on as he continues to round out his game. Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Oh, 
Both free throws good from Bridges. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Wiggins outside. Let's it fly from 18. And it's good mm -hmm. off the glass. Mm -hmm. He's got one to four to start the game. Uh, looking to step it up. Pass to Bridges. Back to Dinwiddie. Looking for Bridges. He gets it there. And on the slam, Bridges using the vertical to finish strong before the D can contest. Thompson outside from the arc. Good, and Curry gets the assist. It's a tie ball game. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Sanders. Eight feet away. Another one falls for Brooklyn. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Curry against Dinwiddie. On deep. A shot by Curry, no good. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistent. Now oh, here's Wigan. After Mikael Bridges missing his last shot. And there's a lot you can say about Golden State's offensive ability, but their defense is also razor sharp. They, they know how to control the flow of a game. And some might go as far, Greg, as saying Golden State's defense is underrated. It is kind of overlooked at times, and, and their shooting is so exceptional, it hides everything else, like how they can dominate the glass defensively. No good on that one. Well, pr probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Johnson, he's checked in for Bridges. He's off on the second. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. The Warriors trail. Here's Curry. That ball's high speed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his third assist on the night. Dinwiddie outside. Curry on the wing. Knocked away. Dinwiddie kicks to Curry. Unloads. And again, it's the Nets missing. They say it's a make or miss league, and there are some times that you, you miss. Curry outside. And Sanders pulls it down. Brooklyn's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. to Dinwiddie. Green with the block. When you talk about the best defensive time players out, out. of this era, you have to talk about Draymond Green. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster, already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well.
changes here for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And Poole subbed in for Thompson. The Nets also changing it up. Ben Simmons comes in for Sanders. And Joe Harris is subbed in for Curry. Now here's Curry. 23 points his last outing. Poole with it. Defended by Dinwiddie. Now Poole. Green breaking loose. Dinwiddie with the rebound. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. Spencer and Dinwiddie. he makes that one. Warriors trail by four. Curry passes to Poole. Back to Curry. Green inside. Kaminga finds Poole. There's the triple. A three-pointer is right on target. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. On the wing, Harris. Guarded by Poole. Passes it to Claxton. They double-team Johnson. Simmons inside. Kaminga on him. He gets that one. Ben Simmons. And this is how Simmons puts up points. He challenges you close at the rim more often than not having the physical advantage. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. It's a three-point game. The pass to Kaminga. It's deflected. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain Warriors possession ball. here. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And, and guys, don't think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Near the three-point line, it's Poole. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Poole's got five. Brooklyn's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Curry against Dinwiddie. Outside, Simmons. And it's good, two points. Simmons got his second bucket tonight. And the closer Simmons gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. I love watching him in attack mode. Green kicks to Curry. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Curry's shot is off. Let's just say his subpar shooting is just one reason why they are trailing in this ballgame. Dinwiddie with the bucket. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Curry passes to Poole. One thirty-nine left to play in the first, and it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Payton, he's checked in for Golden State. Gary Payton, the second. Nets leading by five. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total sync. Good luck trying to stop him now. Here's Claxton. He's got six. Dinwiddie outside. Johnson, a wide-open look, gets the three-pointer to fall. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. The Warriors shooting 43% since taking the floor today. Cool with it. His last outing with 20 points. Outside, green. Six on the shot clock. Back to Poole. To end the run. It doesn't go for him. Brooklyn's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. And they double up Simmons. Dinwiddie outside. Simmons against Green. Simmons passes to Claxton. Here's Dinwiddie. And the Nets, another three. And his ability to efficiently score, that's really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. Outside, Green. 
Dayton in the corner. Harris against Poole. Count that one. Poole's got seven. And there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. The one goal they had coming into this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. Fans, give it up for your Warriors. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Nets. Well, there's one thing, Greg, that defines a modern NBA big man. It is mobility. And, and they've got to be able to move their feet and, and really play in space. Otherwise, they just can't stay on the floor in today's game. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. On the wings, Thompson and Wiggins. Looney out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Peyton in at the point. And how about the confidence of Wiggins? His teammates want him to take those shots. Here's Dinwiddie. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength the numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. DA, thanks. We throw good Wiggins. Dorian Finney Smith's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for the Nets. They've led by as many as 11 points. Curry on the wing. The Warriors pull it in. Home court didn't seem to help any last time they met. We'll see if it makes a difference this time. And they lost a close one last time they saw each other. And you have to think that it was the foul trouble that really kept them from getting the win. Getting into foul trouble will really handcuff you, and they found that out last time. Sanders against Wiggins. Sanders' shot is good. Sanders has got six. I just love when teams make it work down low. Thompson outside. Peyton kicks to Wiggins. Looney down low. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Off target from outside. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Peyton against Dinwiddie. That's his fifth miss of the game. He has made six of his 11 shots. Peyton dishes to Wiggins. From deep. Cans it from downtown. Ten points for him. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. And Sanders kicks to Bridges. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Pass to Finney Smith. Played in with a nice touch Boy, off the glass. Finney Smith's got his first points of the game. 
Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. You talk about a defensive menace. That's Dorian Finney-Smith. He has a knack for coming up with a big defensive play. Often lines up against the opponent's most important offensive player. That is good. And the Nets lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Thompson. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. And Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941 day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. Gary Payton. Brooklyn leading by three. Outside Curry. Here's Sanders. Here he goes. Sanders. My goodness. He is such a great dunk. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Thompson outside. Offensive rebound. Kaminga, no good. For Brooklyn, they've gone four of six in the field here in the second. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Curry can't get it to go. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. Curry passes to Kaminga. He feeds it to Thompson. Brooklyn with the rebound. Sanders has got four rebounds in this game. Bridges outside. Going inside. It's good. And so determined. Bridges finds a way to get the shot up and in. Now to the line. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. And from College of the Pros, Richard, you played for some legendary coaches. And speaking of coaching, is that something you've ever entertained doing? I never have, and I <laughs> never will. Coaching, the amount of hours that you have to spend sounds exhausting. I love my job right now, and you know why I love my job? Because I get to work with you. Oh, listen, the feeling's <laughs> mutual. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. The Nets have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. At the line for two. First one falls. And both free throws good for Dinwiddie. And a great job from the line this quarter. They've gotten their percentage way up there. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat.
There's Curry. Pass to Kaminga. Thompson outside. Passes to Looney. And here is Kaminga. Defended by Bridges. And Kaminga gets it to go. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Bridges outside. Curry on the wing. Back to Bridges. Just four to shoot. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists in the game. Curry against Dinwiddie. Fades and shoots. It'll go, and the next lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from Thompson. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Down low, here's Finney Smith. Outside for Curry. Connects from three-point range. Curry's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Curry passes to Thompson. Now, here's Looney. And there's the pass to Curry. Let's the three fly. He doesn't hit that one. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. And that concludes this long six-game road trip to the left side wing. Dinwiddie kicks to Bridges. There's the three. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Looney finds Kaminga. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Warriors have hit half their free throws in this one, going three of six so far. At the line for two. First free throw is good. And the media is able to vote on awards like all rookie. But Greg, those awards can end up determining a player's max salary. Any concern there? No doubt there is. But somebody has to decide those awards, right? And no matter who it is, there's always going to be some pushback. So as long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be in someone else's hands. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And Looney sends it back. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's got 15. Tries again. As to Sanders. Here's the three. And Curry pulls it down. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. It's good, and the Brooklyn lead has cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Kaminga. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. Golden State's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Thompson is double. Pass to Kaminga. The tray, and the Warriors get it back, and it's Sanders with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. They might start using him a little bit more sparingly with three fouls already before the half. Green, he's checked in for Jonathan Kaminga. Thompson finds Looney. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Looney's got his second bucket of the night. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. I admire Thompson's toughness. Gets it from his dad and from his mom. Yeah, his mom played volleyball in college. His dad was the first overall pick in 1978. Played in the league for 13 seasons. You know what that's called? 
good genetics. And the Warriors making a change here. Pools checked in. Then for the Nets, Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Sanders. Joe Harris comes in for Seth Curry. And Simmons subbed in for Dinwiddie. Back to Harris. Bridges, right side. Pocket six. No good from outside. Last game for Brooklyn, they picked up the W against the Nuggets in ball arena. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. Team's fourth. This is his first free throw of the game. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. That's good from four. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Golden State. All free throws good from Poole. Nets leading by four. And here is Simmons. Passes it to Claxton. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Claxton's got eight points. In that pass-first nature of Simmons, outstanding at understanding when his teammates are open. Looney down low over Claxton. Looney with the bucket. Looney's got his third bucket of the night. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Johnson. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. Thompson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Green. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. Mikkel Bridges picks one up. The quintessential glue guy. Green does all the dirty work. You need one of these guys on your team because he has such a diverse skill set. He misses the free throw. Well, RJ, you played against Draymond Green. Do you agree with him when he calls himself the best defender in NBA history? No, of course not. He's not the best, but he's worked his way near the top. I'll give my guy that. And look, he's a defensive player of the year, and he has been in consideration multiple other years. It's his versatility that gives him such a boost on that other end of the floor. Good on the second free throw. Here's Simmons. He kicks to Johnson. Now the pass to Bridges. Shot clock at five. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. After failing to get going in the first quarter, he's looked much better here in the second. Poole against Harris. Poole kicks to Green. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. And they're hitting the long-range shots that they were missing in the first quarter, but still have ground to make up. Simmons passes to Claxton. Outside, Simmons. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Golden State basketball. Poole finds Green. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Golden Two State minutes. moving the ball around to the paint. Pass to Poole. Shoots it. 
and it's Golden State with another. Incredible passer at his position. Green is especially good at getting it to the open teammate. Harris outside. Bridges outside. Pass to Harris. This one for three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got five rebounds tonight. Cool on the wing. One twenty-one left here in the second. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Johnson for three. Drills it from outside. Cameron Johnson. Johnson's three got corner. six points. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Right wing. Looney passes to Thompson. Makes it off the glass. 11 points in the game. Those high percentage looks are easy for Thompson. He's just got the touch for inside shots. And Simmons kicks to Johnson. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Look at the space he had on that one, though. There's an obvious speed mismatch between the two. 32 seconds left now here on the second. Poole, the pass to DiVincenzo. Jacks up a three, and another three for Golden State. Dante DiVincenzo. 23 seconds left to play in the first half. Outside, Simmons. And Looney sends it back. One second left. And the last second, Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. He keyed their comeback effort. He's the reason they are tied to close out the quarter. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. Bye, right, Dave. For your Warriors, you 15. Thanks very much. Draymond, of course, not unusual to see you going up against bigger players. So how do you take advantage of that offensively? I mean, you just got to take advantage of mismatches. You know, most of the time there's a big guy on me. If not, there's usually somebody trying to switch off. I, mean, I just got to know when to pop and just take advantage of the mismatches. You've done just that in the first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Golden State had some issues in the first quarter. As hard as they tried to compete, they just could not keep pace early and ended the period facing a deficit of nine points. They came out in the second quarter with a lot more energy and with some nice offensive stretches and were able to even things up before the half. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what do you think? Well, if you compare the assist numbers, you can see who's been the superior team. On them. And they're playing a much better brand of basketball. That bodes well for them the rest of the way. And over to Shaq. What do you think about Brooklyn? Well, their strategy to pound inside has worked well so far. I wouldn't get away from it if I was drawing up the second half plan. Uh, keep working into the posts, and you got to win that physical battle. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Give it up. Go to Kevin Harlan. And get ready to move. And we've got second half.